a man. He got a thought on his own and his little? Well, no. First off, you fine. First off, I feel like you find out by yourself. <laughs> then somebody has to tell you <laughs> that she got a small penis, which is equally damaging. <laughs> wait, so do you? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait.
for who? For How do you know that don't make my sales go up? Because you're on the call. Every nigga that come in Verizon buying, no. getting the phone that day. No. My mama not buying that. My mama, old people spend the most money. Okay, fuck it. All right? My mama not buying shit for you because you got the big ass. That's what I'm saying. Okay? It ain't got to be that sexual, but just me and IG model or something like Just taking pictures, getting some extra funds. I get that. That's all I'm saying. If you're going to make, to me, this is an investment. Okay. It's one thing to say. No, are you cheating on this investment? No, my heart, I'm saying my note. No, I, I'm not paying for nothing. Oh, What's up? Okay, you want to do? Okay, okay. I'm saying I'm already with you. You already look good to me. So if I you ask you, so if I ask you, baby, look, this mm-hmm. is what I want to do. Uh-huh. I need this done. Like it's gonna help my confidence. Can you go half? Like I already got half saved I, up. I'll go half on the gym, baby. Huh? On the gym, we can keep that up because even if you get that BBL, you still gotta go to the gym. Right. So I'm saying, nah, if you want the BBL, go ahead and do that. But I'm all here to support you naturally, do all this other shit. Unless we got this plan, I'm going to get this BBL, I'm going to turn up, I'm going to start doing this and that. Because I'm like, that's a waste of six, seven thousand dollars $7,000. We ain't doing shit with it. Now you just walk around, I already like your titties. <laughs> I like that ass already. I was already hitting that ass. Right. Now you just got more ass. But it's what if, great. Okay, so what if I have a kid and then now my breasts are the same? They're not the same as what it was before I had this kid. Demisha. I like a long titty, so again. <laughs> Chef D, but no, you don't. You a long like, titty never you bothered You made that up. You don't, she don't know the titties I've been sucking. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna tell me the titties that I've seen in my life? Niggas work out because they want to look sexy for pictures. Okay. Not necessarily. Some niggas, yeah. okay. Some of us are conscious, so I want my six pack and whatever for myself. Okay, but you're married too, so you're not. Yeah. You, know, you already got your woman. Your she woman already loves you. She like my back when I be working out, so yeah. So you're doing it for her too. That's what I'm saying. I'm you should. Take all of that back. You already, you already in there. That's what I'm saying. It's for, it, it is for yourself, just like right. the BBL. But that's what I'm saying. Don't act like it's not for other people. Okay. Don't act like it's not for attention. So I'm saying, if you want the attention, get that fucking attention, and let's do something with it. You already got my attention. So who else attention do you want? My, uh, it's not about wanting attention. And that's my so, point. So go ahead. If you at the security, go ahead and pay for it. That's my thing. It's but I'm asking you to help me with it. No. Why? I, just, I gave you the money. say no, I say yes. So. I'm okay. saying no. So y'all just, I just can't fuck with you. So That's fine. That's fine. Now we going to play. Okay. So, I just can't fuck with you. I say yes. Okay. But from what I've heard, you know, doctors say that it is very unhealthy because you put in all of that weight and it's like a major vessel right there, mm-hmm. which can cause complications. If it gets mm-hmm. any fat that's in that vessel, yeah. you're gone. Okay. So from a health standpoint, I don't want to do Okay. Now, like, now, I don't have to, um, what if we tone it down? We don't have to go extreme as like the whole BBL, whatever. Because honestly, let's say I be okay, babe, I can build a butt in the gym. Right. right. Let's just get the titties up. Because these just aren't the same. Okay. You good with that? You, you good with going half? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I'm saying, so I, can't talk to you, so. I live, if you're my girl, I live with you, all our bills are the same anyway. Look, you just want to go on this endeavor. If I go and invest in the camera and all this other shit, I'm not looking for her to invest in that because that's what she and Ryan want to do. And I'm okay with that because I don't need no extra camera for us to eat. But I'm not going to, but when you, also when you go get this camera, I'm not, I can't play with the camera. But I can't hold on, no. with this camera. But what am I doing with the camera? camera? But what am I doing with the camera? Making extra money. Get more attention. No awesome shit. But if so I that's all I'm saying. Titties, nigga, you're going to be, you're not, you're going to be all over. You're going to be expecting me to cook with no shirt, chill with no shirt, roll up with no shirt. I was already expecting that. So, <laughs> so that's my point. That's all I'm saying. I'm already, I'm already head over heels over the motherfucker. I'm already like that shit. So do you and your wife, do you guys have social media rules? Like what you can do on social media versus what she can do on social media? Or like, have you guys dis- discussed what's acceptable? No. It's, it's a day by day thing. So we have Love Sprinkle Taste, which is our page. And we post about travel, we post about you know anniversaries, our son, anything, everything that has to do with us that we want to share. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, it's really no holds bar as long as she's comfortable with it. Um, most likely. Do you know, do you guys have separate pages? We do have separate pages and then we have them on. So on your separate pages, you, are you guys sitting at home like, why you like her picture? Or <laughs> what are you posting? Can I see your DMs? Well, you know, that's other, yeah. you know, is your page, is your personal pages private? Do you guys trust each other fully with those pages? Do you guys have open access? Yeah, open access. Okay, so she picked up your phone and she can go to your Instagram. Yes. She can look through anything she wants on your Instagram. That's how, that's how and your heart not going to stop when she pick up the phone. No, it's hard not going to 
stop. Black men don't cheat, man. What are you talking about? Come on, man. She sounds skeptical, man. She sounds a little skeptical. She was trying to pull out all the stops. You saw that. I just want to see. I'm trying to see what type of person I'm talking to. Because this is rare, okay? This is rare. Most of our listeners. They women can't pick you don't they know how Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, look. Yes. I, it's, it's, I bet yes. you. It's gonna be a lot it of men. Listen to this. Look at that woman be like, don't touch my phone. You better not. You better not touch my phone. But like you said though, it takes a lot of growth. Okay. Because when you're a young man and you're unsure, mm -hmm. this man is sure about what he wanted for his future. That's why he made that happen. Okay. When men get sure, okay. A man could be trash. Mm -hmm. Just because he makes that commitment to a woman doesn't mean that that trash is stopped. Okay. That trash activity, that bad behavior. Mm -hmm. Most of the times, if they have that bad behavior and they do that, they just want the argument to stop. All right, I fucking love you. <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it's really that. It's like, shit, okay, now everybody get the fuck on. So our, yeah. We had a baby, all right. I'm not like not going to take care of my baby. But I may not be ready to be in that fully committed relationship, 100% transparent every day. This is my life. A lot of people still have that selfishness, like, I just kind of want my life. Right. And then I will take care of my kids, and you can have your life. Which is, you know, fair, you know what I mean? But I think the issue with a lot of men is, like, we talk about that vulnerability. Men aren't vulnerable. A man is not gonna, he could really like a woman and be like, damn, I'm scared she's gonna leave me because I'm fucking bald. <laughs> and that is like a, you know what I'm saying? It is super trivial. Mm -hmm. But for men, it's like, what do we, this is how they feel. I don't think this is true. And it's not wrong because some, some women will. You know, some people, you know, some women aren't comfortable with the man that can't express yeah. that. They never yeah. seen it, probably went home, or whatever the case may be. So it's not wrong. It's yeah. just, it just is what it is. It just is what it is. That, I'm not okay, excusing it. I'm not excusing it. But I'm saying we have to figure out a way to talk to our boys in a new, healthier manner to talk about the insecurities. Because it's like, let's say you're a boy. If you're not, a, let's say I was an athlete. Mm -hmm. I was small, but I was an athlete and I was a good athlete. Mm -hmm. So if, if I wasn't an athlete, the more masculine boys just wouldn't have hung out with me. Right. So now you're hanging out with the other offshoot boys. So unless they're like nerdy and just cool too, it's just like, you're outcast. So you don't think that women don't like that women or young girls do with those things? Women do, but women can get eyelashes and get the hair. You can wear makeup. You can wear makeup. You can wear makeup. You definitely get enhancements versus us not. We have to either, we either stuck how you look uh -huh. or you have to dress nice. Or you got this bad beard. You got some shit that you just, this is a whole of men, it's just like these things that you just can't control. Okay, yeah. women have uh, no edges. Like, we Get still, a wig. Put your wig on. Everybody suffers from... No, no, no. Put your wig on. Right? Okay, but if I keep putting my wig on, then, it's not, then I'm still not going to have edges because my edges will never be able to grow because I keep doing this wig on. I'm just saying. Yeah, we, we, just stay we can't even have no so wig. So now the wig just got to stay there, but you don't even like the wig, and you be talking about the screen and shit. You talk about niggas is bald. I didn't talk I didn't talk about you. I said, baby, go bald. He don't want to go bald. You don't have a choice. Yes, we do. You can get the wig. LeBron got a choice. LeBron, yeah. LeBron, LeBron don't have a choice. Have a choice. What do you LeBron? mean? Le LeBron needs to go bald, okay? No, he don't. Yes, he does. Have yeah, you seen Space Jam? They made LeBron that up. LeBron got his hair. What are you talking about? They made that up. That's the whole point, I thought. When a but, woman, when a but woman you shit, niggas is not bringing up Space Jam on the court when the middle of LeBron's head is missing. He's 16. Who's seeing the middle of his head? We do. Every game. Okay, when he at the grocery store, nobody is. Yeah, let's Okay. He, got, he got to be far away. Every nigga around LeBron is 6'2", okay? Every, every one of his niggas see his head. That's his niggas. He's talking about Savannah. That's the niggas that, we, that he's around Savannah, every day. The Savannah. Savannah sees the top of his head. Only when every when, night. When, what are we talking on about? On the bed. When he walked and he strolled up on Savannah. <laughs> she not seeing this he part. He was back then when he got her anyway. Right. <laughs> one, right. One, he was a high school. Probably, but Savannah has probably told him, like, baby, you know what's okay, Savannah, right? I'm sure, is supporting her man and his confidence. And look what that's led to. Billions of dollars. And I was like, if Savannah had your attitude, who knows what it takes? <laughs> who knows what it takes? Wouldn't be no Space Jam. <laughs> wouldn't be no Lakers. Wouldn't be none of that. He is still in Cleveland. No, that's not true. But I think that it's fair for us to trade off 
I'm willing to give up. We don't we don't do the hair. Okay. I'm willing to give women makeup. Okay. I can fold on the surgery. My only thing is, if you, if it get a little big, you gotta use it. That's all I'm saying. And I'm even saying on some, if you my girl and you don't want to use it for nothing else, you better start dressing your ass off when we go out. You better be the baddest bitch out here. Okay? If you get, it's like braces. If you get some braces, you better smile in every goddamn picture <laughs> moving forward. Okay? No, bro, I mean, don't be I shy got, after these damn braces. No, that's that's true. Like, my braces came up. I changed my Bebo name to Miss Colgate Smile. That's all I'm saying. So if you get that ass, get some skirts and show that ass off. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I'm willing to fall on that. We agree on that. We agree on that. All right, show that ass. That's all I'm saying. Show that ass. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying.